Okay, I wanted to show you something really cool with MIDI keys with this audio MIDI setup, okay? So let's go back to this. Now, I said my input is MIDI keys, so I can begin to display it on the screen. My MIDI output is A AUDSL. That's the synth that's assigned to your computer, your default MIDI, ugly sound, general MIDI sounds. So let's play a, a, a MIDI file here. Okay. Now what if what if I'm telling myself, you know what? I cannot stand these sorry MIDI files. I want to be able to use the sound, the awesome sounds of my uh, sequencer, my logic, my Pro Tools, my garage band, and be able to play sounds that I want. So MIDI keys will allow you to do that. And let me show you how MIDI keys will allow you to do that. All right, let's let's load up. We just loaded up GarageBand. This is GarageBand right here. Let's make it a little smaller. And uh, right here on the GarageBand, we have a nice little, nice little piano here. So let me play this. See how that piano is much better than that ugly piano we had before. As a matter of fact, let's change the sound here. <clears throat> let's change it to a nice. Um, uh, let's say piano, keyboards, electric piano. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, what about this live grand? Let's try that. Let's try that. That might sound cool. Okay. All right, let's stick with that. Let's stick with this nice sounding piano, okay? Now, from this day point, this this time forward, we can completely close this. All right. Now, the problem is, is this MIDI output. I'm telling MIDI keys to output on the general MIDI synthesizer. That's for my computer. OSX is the AUDS DLS synth, and with uh, Windows is the Wavetable synth. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, you know what, Tra transmit out on MIDI keys port. I want you to be able to transmit out on the MIDI keys port, okay? So let's try this. Let's do this. Notice I'm using the sounds from my garage band. There you go, look. See? Let's pause this. So I'm not transmitting out. So I'm I'm using the sounds now. So when I close GarageBand, because of this setting that I just made to transmit out on MIDI keys, because what that says is make MIDI keys a MIDI port to be able to output to the computer. And so now it outputs right into GarageBand. So now I don't have to worry about them sorry sounds anymore. Now check this out. Check this out. This is another thing. Say you're on an airplane and you don't have a keyboard with you and you want to begin to play the keys. Go to your preferences and go to your audio MIDI. I'm sorry, go to your preferences and go to your general. Now let's use the enable QWERTY keyboard. Let's see what happens. I'm able to use MIDI keys as a uh, as a MIDI port to export um, a MIDI channel. So, so say you're on the airport and you you can't play. You want to be able to record in your GarageBand, but you don't have a keyboard with you. But you have your 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 keyboard here on your fingers. A S D F J K L okay I'm playing on my computer keyboard so I can go here and say you know what let's record right here without a keyboard let's record and let's go here 
And let's go back here and I just record it without even having a keyboard. I'm sitting on the airplane. I do not have a keyboard in front of me, but I'm like, I want to jot down some ideas. So I recorded it right through MIDI keys because the MIDI keys allows it to be a conduit to transmit MIDI. I went to my preferences and I said, let's go to uh, general and I want to enable my QWERTY keyboard so that when I play the J's and the K and the A and the S I'm saying play those notes and transmit out on preferences right here transmit out on MIDI keys because it's its own port and so it transmitted out to there so let's go back here so now I can I can play MIDI files okay I can play MIDI files right here let's go here I can play MIDI files and I don't have to use the sorry uh, sounds on the general MIDI sounds here's the sorry sounds here yuck nasty here's my garage band sounds right here it's nice I want to hear some strings let's see if I can get some strings on here let's hear what this sounds like in strings right here we change the sound here and it's uh, it's loading the sound right now because the sound is pretty big so I'll go back to my MIDI keys and I'm, I'm transmitting out So, the sweet thing about MIDI keys is that it can act as its own MIDI port output. So you don't have to be bothered. And so, and what happens is you, you go to your section and you just totally mute this sound. Because what it's going to do is going to play both the sounds. You totally mute that sound and get it out the way. And use the sounds of your expensive keyboard that you paid all that money for those audio units and those VST synths. You might as well use them. Now, another thing, if you were playing a multi-MIDI file, uh, um, we can actually uh, look at the channel and see the channels and we could change the sounds and everything. So, MIDI keys acts as its own external port. So, let's go back to a, uh, let's go back to a piano sound, piano keyboards. Uh, Let's go back to nice piano and strings right here. And so if I don't want to, if I don't have a keyboard in front of me, I can use my QWERTY keyboard right here. And I could transmit out on MIDI keys. So there you have it. MIDI keys able to export and transmit out on its MIDI ports. Okay? And so I wanted to show you guys that so because I know you guys will be sick and tired of that ugly sorry uh, general MIDI sounds and you want to use your VST so just go ahead and change your MIDI output port to MIDI keys and it will transmit out to your computer as a MIDI port and your sequencer GarageBand, Logic, Pro Tools, Digital Performer will pick it up okay and if you're on an airplane and you don't have a keyboard in front of you you can use your fingers to actually play the uh, the you can use the actual QWERTY keyboard to play sounds and jot down information inside of your sequencer and actually record it without having a real keyboard in front of you so that's the beauty of MIDI keys